uh, how the uh, memorial has grown. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Well, we've uh, been able to add an addition onto the memorial to accommodate our veterans beyond the First and the Second World Wars. So now we have a new addition for our Korean veterans, uh, our veterans out of Bosnia, Afghanistan, and um, uh, if there are future conflicts where uh, Oakville veterans are uh, uh, are participating, then we have the ability to recognize that. How many are on the uh, memorial at the present time? You know, I couldn't tell you that. It's First Second World War, um, and as I say, we've just added Korea, but I, I couldn't give you the, the numbers. So Not a, approximately a few hundred, or? Uh, oh, yes, yes. I would, I would yeah, a few hundred, and then there's spaces yeah. for a few hundred more. Yes, yes. Hopefully don't need them, but the spaces are there. Okay, great. And uh, this is the last change that's going to be made for a while here? Well, you know, it's, it's constantly under review uh, with the uh, Royal Canadian Legion Branch 114, that's the Oakville branch, and the town of, uh, of Oakville, uh, support of the mayor, the councils. Um, we're constantly reviewing uh, the facility and uh, trying to make it usable, and you can see some of the renovations that have been made here now, the additional sidewalks and uh, uh, access to it. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it, it's a, a growing facility. I would say. It's a place for uh, uh, mem Rem remembering and uh, relaxing yeah, as well. That's, you know, and that's an excellent way to put it: uh, remembering and relaxing. That it is a and it's a wonderful spot to come, and uh, and people can just sit and uh, uh, yes, find the names of relatives um, and and remember. In a peaceful setting. In a peaceful setting. Great.
and under arms, order arms. Pray, stand at ease. Stand easy. who died, we shall not sleep, the poppies grow in Flanders fields.
the world is still not what we desire. And we remember that men and women today are still required to serve in uniform. And we remember that wars and conflict remain. And we remember that sometimes it seems peace will never come. The truth of Scripture, though, comforts us in this hard part of remembrance. In the words of Jesus today, we are pointed toward truth. The truth that God blesses the poor in spirit. That God blesses those that mourn. That God blesses the meek. That God blesses those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. That God blesses the merciful. That God blesses the pure in heart. And that ultimately, God blesses the peacemaker. And this morning, by taking part in this solemn remembrance, and in not having a victory celebration, we echo these values that we just heard that express God's care for the downtrodden, that lifts up those who suffers, and that remembers the peacemaker. So let us on this Remembrance Day, as a part of our act of remembrance, make sure that the prayer in our hearts echoes all of these values, that we truly remember what has gone on before us, and that in our own quiet way, that together we pray for peace on earth. Thanks be to God. Amen. carry colors and under arms slow arms pray royal salute present arms guard royal salute present